So here's the irony. The very freedoms and liberties that allow these individuals to post this, to pronounce this, are the very liberties enshrined in the Constitution, in the Bill of Rights, that are recognized in the Declaration of Independence, that we get our liberties and freedoms from God. That's where it comes from. The government's job is then to protect those liberties. The New York Times decided, hey, John, July 4th uh, weekend, let's put out an editorial about how, and a whole story about how, Flying the American flag from the back of a pickup truck or over a lawn is increasingly seen as a clue, albeit an imperfect one, to a person's political affiliation. Guess which affiliation that might be. To think that it's somehow bad for the Republican Party that it's going to be associated with the American flag and the Democrat Party is going to be associated with what? Cory Bush saying that when they say the, about the 4th of July is about American freedom, remember this, the freedom they're referring to is for white people. This land is stolen land and black people still aren't free. It's not something just to laugh off. This is real. Are these perfect documents? No, because we're flawed human beings. Did we have slavery in the United States? Yes. Was that wrong? Absolutely. But you know what ended slavery besides the Emancipation Proclamation, of course, Abe Lincoln, but then the, the equality movement was relying on the Equal Protection Clause of the United States Constitution. You have to build upon a document and an ideal and a concept. These ideas that were framed by the framers and the founders of the Constitution were based upon the Enlightenment that existed in Europe and that came over here. And they were based upon people who, yes, they were imperfect human beings. Yes, slavery was despicable and is today despicable wherever it exists in any form. These elites, they refuse to condemn the slavery that is really going on in China. They refuse the, to condemn the slavery, for instance, that continues in Africa. So at the end of the day, we have a leftist group of individuals who are bound and determined ultimately to destroy the United States. They want a new framing, a new constitution, uh, and a new Bill of Rights. It's from Maxine Waters. Don't celebrate this day. Don't, don't, don't celebrate America. I mean, this is what she wrote, July 4th. And so the Declaration of Independence says all men are created equal. Equal to what? What men? Only white men. Isn't it something that they wrote this in 1776 when African Americans were enslaved? They weren't thinking about us then. But we're thinking about us now. Mm. I, I, again, I think it misses that point that these founding documents, the Declaration of Independence, laid the framework for the civil rights movement. It, 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 it was not perfect. That's no one ever says that. No one is taught that. No one has ever been taught America is 100 percent perfect. I do not see the attacks coming from first or second generation Americans. And you have to ask yourself, why is that? Why is it that people who come here and have mm -hmm. experienced fascism from somewhere else and then land in America. Right. And they're so grateful to be here and they know this is the greatest country. Why are they not the ones who are attacking the flag or attacking America? It's because they know the truth. They know what it's like in other places. The idea that the Constitution should not be celebrated and the Declaration of Independence not being celebrated misses the entire point. Because can I ask a question to all these critics of the United States? What country would you rather live in? The founding documents are, uh, they, they secured a previously unrealized level of freedom. And by the way, it's a level of freedom uh, that it, currently, today, if these same comments were made in many other places of the world, uh, they would not be permitted. It would not be a freedom that you have. And so it, you, you ask what other country in the world would they want to live in? And Jay, I think that's the proper perspective, because if you look around the world at places that don't have this foundational freedom, uh, that's where oppression reigns. That's where you don't have freedoms. That's where the strides that Andy talked about uh, don't happen. And the American flag, Jay, on, on July 4th of all days, but really every day of the year, it should be a symbol to those of all partisan and political persuasions of that freedom. You don't have to agree, but it is the symbol that affords you the right to engage in that debate. They chose, remember, America's Independence Day weekend, our celebration of our country that the whole world knows. They see the fireworks. They see how we celebrate as the weekend to place these pieces, to attack America. Unbelievable. It's not by accident they decide on July 4th weekend, let's, let's open up on the American people and the American experience.